Okay, so here's what's wrong with that. 30 years ago, a free safety could run through on a blitz and take a quarterback's head off, and then strut down the field with a stadium full of fans cheering in his wake. Now, the quarterback hangs back in the pocket with a freaking force field around him, and if anyone so much as breathes on him, it's a $35,000 fine. And the guy gets treated like a monster. I, I just said I like football. <laughs> Baseball. Now, that's a sport. America's pastime. Boys just becoming men out on the diamond. You know, they've been playing since they were old enough to walk with hand-me-down bats, a shot going over the fence. Now that's a beautiful thing. Okay, change of subject. Uh, what kind of music do you like? Uh, <laughs> uh, probably nothing you've ever heard of. Excuse me? Everything after Freddie Mercury sucks. Music died with that man. Well, I've been listening to a lot of Mumford & Sons lately. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're not that good. It's no fault of their own. Music just isn't what it used to be. Everyone's so concerned with having a top 40 hit, it's just phased out the days of good music. Have you actually listened to them? Well, no, but I don't need to. Like I said, everything after Freddie is not respectable. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that. I... Movies, now they have changed. When I was a kid, they used to have stories, you know? Concrete, elaborate stories. Not anymore. Now it's all special effects crapshoots flooding the box office to make a million bucks. Movie morality has gone by the wayside, opening the door for half-ass smash hits. But that's not entirely true. There are plenty of good movies that have come out in the past few years. What really pisses me off is these actors who make a million bucks no matter how crappy the movie, when average Joes like me have to work for a living. So what do you do for a living? Between jobs right now. Trying to figure some things out. Really? Surprising. What? I said, well, how do you plan on getting by? Writer. I got some things to say. I just got so sick of these stupid, Corporate jobs. Um, like mine. Are you thirsty? Not really. Here, drink this. It's the Woodsman. You'll love it. It's delicious. No, thank you. No, seriously, try it. You'll love it. It's, it's no. no, seriously, it's the best thing you've ever had. No. I really like no. it. No. Like, no. Oh. Guess I'll go dry off. I am dying out there. You know she's not coming back, don't you? Um, yeah, I pretty much figured that out. Sucks to suck. Now what'd I do to you? You told her your opinion on everything under the sun. A little lopsided. But maybe you're right. Maybe as long as the guy puffs himself up enough, maybe a girl doesn't need to talk. I tried to connect. Sports opinions. Nice try. Yeah, you are dying out there. <laughs> See, even he thinks you're stupid and he's two steps away from being on to catch a predator. What does this guy know that you don't? How to use a roofie? What? Nothing. <laughs> even though he's fake, he at least pretends to listen. Hey, bartender, a round of shots, please. Hi, what's your name? Take these girls, only looking for a good time. And guys like him walk in here, waiting for the universe to give me some kind of sign. <laughs> and then girls walk in here and it's done. Hello? How about those drinks? Here's this guy. He's kind of cute. <laughs> Showtime. Ladies, how would you like to see a magic trick? Oh, I love it. It's like this. Any guy can hear and strut his stuff for a gaggle of drunk girls. But isn't what we really want is just a chance to connect? A chance to not have to try and impress someone? I just wish I had a chance to do it over. Like a reset. Do you think you could do better? I would try. Be a funny thing if a man found a way to give somebody a chance. It might be worth something. Here. Reset, artist. I can give you five minutes. Five minutes to do things differently. Bull. I know it would have helped me.
What'd you expect, a freaking DeLorean? What does it do? It might let you prove yourself. It might not. It's up to you. What's the catch? Space-time continuum. Butterfly effect apocalypse. I don't know. But isn't it worth a shot? Football.